Hello and welcome to this eighth part of our online course on answer set solving in practice. My name is still Thorsten Schaub, despite my haircut, and we are currently running this course as an online course at the University of Potsdam. Now, this course actually marks the entrance to a series of lectures on ASP solving. And I like this part in particular because we will derive algorithms for solving from semantic principles, actually from the consequence operator and the definition of a stable model. In this way, we are really coming uh, to algorithms from first principles, like uh, what is a TP operator, what is the consequence operator, how does the reduct come in, and this will allow us actually to come up with the first algorithmic framework for computing stable models. In fact, the algorithms that we will obtain are more or less the algorithms that were in use in the very first uh, ASP solver uh, S models and hence give you an overview of how people tried to compute stable models at the, well, more or less at the sec in the second half of the 90s. Okay, then after all, since we talk about algorithms and how to compute uh, stable models. We should also talk about the complexity. How actually, how hard is it to compute stable models independent of uh, an algorithm? And because this will also tell us actually where we have to take care and which things have to work in a certain way. Anyway, just hand waving. Let me zip this and now start with recalling uh, things that you already heard about in the introductory section about the consequence operator. 